Did you know you were in Saturday? Uh, did you know you were oh in? Oh, yeah, I knew I was in. Yeah, it was no question to me. I I knew that I got the ball over the pile, over the goal line and inside of the pile line. So, yeah, I knew I was in for sure. Yeah. What did, what did it feel like to, to be able to kind of move that, that efficiently on offense at the first half? And then what, what adjustments can you make in, in, in the third quarter when, when you guys were a little bit stagnant? Uh, well, in the third quarter, we just came out slow. Um, that's our worst quarter of the game so far this season. Uh, we've got to work on doing that. Um, we have to work on just, you know, continuing that momentum, bringing it to the second half, uh, just bringing that, you know, that fire that we brought and, you know, just continue that throughout the rest of the game. Gardner, Renard Gardner really seems to be able to elevate the play of you all offensively. What is the biggest thing you've learned from being able to play with him this season? Uh, that he's a pretty funny guy and uh, that, you know, he's easy to, um, you know, just – be cool with you know he's a really cool guy and you know just being able to mesh with him and get on the same page with him and all of that thing um you know it's just really cool to you know he's a really cool person that's what i yeah. with the way carter is able to extend plays do you have to kind of be on your toes a little bit more and luke wasn't um, quite the same way with that uh well i mean regardless of like whether you know being be able to run and maneuver things like that, you always got to look forward to if a you know if coverage breaks down or if the blocking breaks down, and you have to you know try to extend plays regardless of whether the quarterback can move or not. So, but with him being able to you know move move better than Luke, uh, you know we still have to. Sometimes we might just you know start scrambling out of nowhere just because you know it's you know there's scrambling plays are known to be you know breakout plays, big plays for us, and uh, just looking you know yeah. Basically. Five t different touchdown passes to five different receivers on Saturday. What does that say about the depth that your position group and the evolution that you've all made? Uh, I feel that, like, you know, we're a pretty good group. Um, as a receiver core, uh, I feel like we're one of the best in the nation and that we could go up against anybody and we play like that. Uh, so, you know, just continuing to play like that. And, you know, Gardner has a lot of options, whether it's the first strings or the second strings or even the third strings. Whoever comes in, we know that, you know, we're going to be able to complete passes and move the ball. Pretty proud of Travell for going up and making that play in the fourth quarter against a, a bigger defender and ripping yeah. the ball away. <laughs> yeah, that, that just shows how you know how how great of a player he is, and you know that drive and that and that beast that comes out of him when he plays, and it just shows that you know even though we're kind of small and you know we're not the tallest receivers, we still go for the ball and we go get it no matter who you are. Does that also kind of show that the trust that Gardner has in you guys? He he only got here in May, but he, he seems willing to kind of throw the ball to any of you, depending on the coverage, and we'll, we'll trust that, that all eight of you guys will go up and make a play like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. We had to build that trust, you know, starting in the summer when he first came in, and I feel like that trust has gotten, like, to a to a high, very high level, you know, with trusting all of I mean, all of us, you know, just going up and regardless of who there is, whether it's tight coverage, loose coverage, or anything like that, you know, that trust is, I believe that trust is really there. Leonard, can you just describe what it was like playing in that game Saturday? Oh, that okay. game was fun. Like, I believe to be to me, I I thought that game was more fun than the USC game last year, just because of like the hype behind it, the crowd, and just everything. Like if you watch the live footage uh, on TV, you can see us like on the sideline dancing before the second quarter. I mean, yeah, before halftime and just hyping the crowd up and things like that. I just believe that that game was just really fun to play in and the atmosphere of it was just really exciting. If you, if you can share, what was your post game day game celebration like? Uh, well, I did a backflip as soon as, you know, zero, zero, zero hit. And uh, then I started running around the field just like like an airplane, just ah, just screaming and stuff like that. So that, that was my celebration right there. What, what but, was the most interesting thing you saw on the field afterward for, from a fan or someone rushing the field? Uh, well, I saw this one guy holding a, holding a beer in his hand. I thought you couldn't get in with beer, but <laughs> and then he's, he faced it. So that was pretty funny to me. But, yeah. <laughs>